to take you to a live look at Steinbach, Manitoba and tell you about what's in store in that province. Phase two of its reopening set to get underway on Monday. It had a plan, just didn't have a date, but because of the numbers of COVID-19, the government of Brian Pallister going ahead with reopening as of Monday. So what does that cover? Manicurists and pedi uh, pedicurists, indoor restaurant spaces, pools, film production, all can resume operation. Child care, that's going to expand in terms of capacity. So pretty much other businesses all can resume operating because of how well Manitoba uh, trend lines are going. One big surprise announced yesterday, university and college campuses, particularly vocational colleges, they too can reopen as part of phase two. So lab space, um, where they get trade instructions, those facilities, they are going to reopen on Monday as long as there are 25 students in a class and they are at safe physical distances. So Manitoba moving ahead with the slow and steady phase two reopening, it takes effect on Monday. David, you're basically 40 years old. I shouldn't be able to make you feel bad about anything. Mm, eat glass. Another winning night for Eugene and Daniel Levy and their groundbreaking comedy six Canadian Screen Awards last night for their sixth and final season. Since the ceremony was canceled, the Canadian Screen Awards canceled, the acceptance speeches went online. And here's some of the cast's reaction to the six wins. This is amazing. So thank you all very, very much. We really appreciate it. I can't say that I'm not shocked because I am. Um, stunned would be a, a better word. This is not helping my relationship with my son. I feel like one very lucky lady to have worked on Schitt's Creek with my... <laughs> with my, uh, my dear friend Eugene Levy and his infinitely talented son Daniel. Best actress in a comedy winner there, Catherine O'Hara. Some fun with the at-home speech, uh, like she was being played off. The pandemic has put the brakes on wedding season pretty much this year, but we're also seeing a lot of creative ceremonies, sort of plan Bs for couples who can't wait to have the big gathering. Regina Newlyweds, Madeline and Justin Klein. When the lockdown rules hit, their guest list shrank from 150 to just 10. And their venue changed from a downtown hotel to the back deck of Justin's parents' house. And then they told CBC News how they made it all work. We did, Justin and I and the commissioner on the deck, we each had a witness, which was our siblings, um, his sister and my brother. And then we just had both of our parents on the lawn to witness and yeah, it, it turned out amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Klein. You hear the cheers? It's because the other family and friends were there. They just had to cheer from other neighbors' yards. And they live-streamed the whole thing for anybody out of town. So not the memories they were planning, but a very special memory all the same.